question 34 areas and surface areas and volumes is where both the questions come from it's got an internal choice the video solution to both these parts are there in this video right call it 34a due to heavy floods in a state thousands were rendered homeless 50 schools collectively desired to place and place an order for 1500 canvas tents and share the whole expenditure equally so essentially 1500 tens 50 schools each school is saying that we'll bear the cost for 1500 by 50 30 tens just keep that perspective in mind the lower part of each tent is cylindrical base radius 2.8 meters height 3.5 meters upper part is conical the same base radius which is 2.8 but the height is equal to 2.1 canvas used to make the tents is 120 meter square all units are in meter area is given in meter square so no conversion is warranted find the amount shared by each school so to set up the tents that's what the question is so let's quickly look at how the tent is going to look this is a base which is a cylinder and here we are essentially having a conical top this is essentially 2.8 meters the radius part we'll call it as o r right this is going to be the same for both which is 2.8 meters height of the cylinder is equal to 3.5 3.5 is the height of the cylinder height of the cone is equal to 2.1 meters obviously the tent is being made how is the tent going to be you're going to have something which is cylindrical so the curved surface area of the cylinder is going to be a place where you're going to use canvas the lateral surface area of the cone is again a place where we need canvas so area of canvas required area of canvas for one tent is equal to curved surface area of cylinder plus lateral surface area of cone curved surface area of cylinder is very straightforward 2 pi rh the formula is done but lateral surface area of cone the formula for this is pi r l we know the radius 2.8 l is basically this if we call it as a a r is your lateral right this is your slant height l is your slant height we know the height we know the radius we know it's a right triangle so let's compute the slant height of this cone first so l is equal to square root of 2.1 square plus 2.8 square let's do this calculation intelligently this is a 3 times 0 0.7 this is a 4 times 0 0.7 so this can be written as 3 square into 0 0.7 square this can be written as 4 square into 0 0.7 square so 0 0.7 will come out of the square root leaving us with 3 square plus 4 square 9 plus 16 is 25 square root of 25 is a 5 so this becomes 0 0.7 into 5 which is equal to 3.5 so slant height is equal to 3.5 meters we got all data that we want so we can find out the area of canvas required for one tent let's do that first curved surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi rh 2 into 22 by 7 into r which is 2.8 into height which is equal to 3.5 right 2.8 radius 3.5 height let's find out the area of curved surface area or lateral surface area of the cone which is pi rl 22 by 7 into r which is the same 2.8 and we have the slant height to be equal to 3.5 this cancels out as a 2 2 gets cancelled with this 2 done cancels out as a 2 gets cancelled as 11 so 22 times 2.8 plus 11 times 2.8 which is equal to 33 times 2.8 which is the area of one tent how many tents do we need this area of one tent area of one tent so area of 1500 tents is equal to 33 we'll do the final calculation in the last step into 1500 so cost of 1500 tens is equal to 33 into 2.8 into 1500 meter square into 120 per meter square how many schools are participating 50 schools so cost per school is equal to 33 into 2.8 33 into 2.8 into 1500 into 120 divided by number of schools participating is 50 
now this becomes essentially at 30. Let us do the calculation from this point forward. Essentially, we have 33 into 28, let me write it, into 3 into 120, which is equal to 360, right. Uh, multiplied this 10 here to make it into a round number 28. So, 3 into 360 to 120 is equal to 360. Let us do this calculation. This is 28 into 30, 28 into 33 is what I am going to do. 28 into 3 is equal to 840. 28 into 3 is 84. 28 into 30 is 840 plus 84. This is 4, 12, 9. So, this component is equal to 924 into 360 is what we have. Right. Let us do this calculation. 924 into 36. 6 4 sir, 24, 2, 12, 14, 1, 54, 55 is what we have. This is 12 carry over 1, 6 plus 1, 7, 27 is what we have. So, this is 4, 6, 12 carry over 1, which is a 3 carry over 1, and then a 0 to be added to all of this 332640. So, 3,32,640 is the cost that each school is bearing. What we did? Found out the area per tent, multiplied it by 1500 to find out the total area required for all 150 tents, multiplied it by the cost per meter and then divided by 50 schools. Did the calculation toward the end, got the answer as each school contributes 3,32,640 rupees. This question has a second part. This is a bit tougher than the first part. If I were writing, I would do the first part and probably skip this because it's a little tricky. There are two identical solid cubical boxes of size 7 centimeters. Okay, that's the easier part. From the top face of the first cube, a hemisphere of diameter equal to the side of this cube is scooped out. So now, in this cube, you're going to see a hemispherical dome which has come out of it. This hemisphere is inverted and placed on top of the second cube surface to form a dome. We'll see this in the pictures in the next slide. Find the ratio, the total surface area of the two new solids formed. Right, let's start with this. This is what is happening, right? This is 7, 7. You would have had essentially if it had been a cube without any of this being scooped out. The surface area, they're asking us to find out the ratio of the total surface area. I'm going to find out the surface area, total surface area for the scooped out one first. So total surface area for this, let's start with it. It would have been each of this is a square of side 7. We have six such sides. So essentially, the total surface area of the cube alone without the scooping would have been 6 times 7 times 7. 7 by 7 square, 6 th squares. Now, we are not scooped out anything. At this point, this is where it is. Now, when you scoop out, you are going to see essentially the circle being removed from it. Right? This is the face. Now, this circle has been essentially removed from it. The diameter of the circle is essentially 7. So, the radius is equal to 7 by 2. So, we are going to scoop out the circle from it, which is minus pi into 7 by 2 square. So, this is gone. The circle is gone, but you are seeing a hemispherical, essentially the curved surface area of the hemisphere is now a surface. This was flat, now we have scooped it, so all of this is surface still available to you. So, we will have to add the curved surface area of the hemisphere thus formed. That is essentially equal to 2 pi r square, 2 into pi into 7 by 2 the whole square thing is we can calculate this value, we are essentially interested in finding out the ratio of the total surface area of these two solids. So, let us keep this number intact. So, this is 2 pi 7 by 2 the whole square minus pi 7 by 2 the whole square. We will just do this much of calculation, 6 into 7 square, we will write it for ease of writing, plus pi into 7 by 2 the whole square is the total surface area of the first solid. Now, the scooped out part is inverted and placed here. This happens to be our second dome. Let us check out what is the total surface area for this one. It would have essentially been, take all the 6 sides, right? 6 into 7 into 7. Now, this part, the circle that would have been there, right, on top, that is no longer visible to us, that has been hidden by this dome, right? So, this was a part of the 6 into 7 into 7. Now, this part is no longer available in your total surface area. It is not a part of the surface. It is somewhere inside. So, we will have to subtract the circles area 
minus pi into 7 by 2 the whole square and then we'll have to add the curved surface area of the dome placed on top which is essentially equal to 2 into pi into 7 by 2 the whole square so what's the total surface area of this solid this is again 6 into 7 square plus 2 pi minus pi will make it as plus pi into 7 by 2 the whole square go back 6 into 7 square into pi into 7 by 2 the whole square is the surface area TSA of this solid 6 into 7 square into pi into 7 by 2 the whole square is the total surface area of this solid both have the same total surface area so TSA of 1 is to TSA of 2 is equal to 1 is to 1 doing the calculation at this point is essentially a waste of time it's not worth it at all they've asked us for the ratio ratio is 1 is to 1 you can essentially say these two are equal so ratio is 1 is to 1 let's look at part 2 part 2 find the volume of each new solid total surface area ratio is 1 is to 1 let's check out whether the same thing works for volume right now what is going to be the volume in this case we are going to pick the volume of the cube and from that we will have to remove the volume of the hemisphere that has got scooped out minus volume of hemisphere volume of the cube is 7 times 7 times 7 side is 7 hemisphere volume is equal to 2 by 3 into pi which is 22 by 7 into r cube r in our case is 7 by 2 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 49 343 this is minus 343 minus 7 gets cancelled with 7 2 gets cancelled with 2 2 gets cancelled with this 22 to leave us with 11 so what we have is essentially 11 into 49 490 plus 49 which is equal to 539 divided by a 6 is what we have right so 343 minus 539 by 6 you can do this calculation arrive at the answer 540 by 6 is essentially a 90 one sixth lesser than that 343 minus 540 by 6 is a 90 90 minus 0.166 so this essentially 0.16 gone from it will make it as 89.83 is what we will have 343 minus 343 minus let's do an 89 first 13 minus 9 is equal to a 4 this will make it as 3 13 minus 8 is equal to 5 254 is what we would have had if we subtracted an 89 we are subtracting another 0.83 also so it is going to make it as 253.16 that is the volume of the first solid let us compute the volume of the second solid in this case volume of the cube is going to be as it is to that we are going to add the volume of the hemisphere we have done most of the calculations so let us not repeat it 343 plus to that we are going to add this value 89.83 89.83 add a 90 to it it would have become 433 433 is what it would have become had you added a 90 we are adding only 89.83 so it is going to be 432.83 is what is the volume of this cube volumes are different in this case the scooped up thing comes on top so it adds to the volume the scooped up component is no longer a part of it the volume goes down so volume is 253.16 and 432.83 before you leave i want you to do two things one sign up at online.maxitude.com to get started with cbc class 10 math online tuitions it takes all of five minutes and less than three steps to get started so get it done today and second thing, I want you to subscribe to this channel if you already haven't and turn on notifications so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. And also spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.